what's going on family happy friday yes happy friday to you all what's going on i'm adam mubarak welcome to a new day so we out just leaving the hotel told my driver to be here about 8 30 he got here a little early i was ready early and i was expecting them to call me but I guess he felt that I was gonna be sitting up front. I'm like, I'm just chilling in the bed, you know, just chilling, laying there. I, I, I was ready. I was like, you know what? Let me call up there to see if he's up here. Sure enough, there you go. <laughs> I look at him. He up here just waiting. I'm back there waiting. I'm like, well, they called me yesterday, the day before. But I just thought about it yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Dogs just humping each other just a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. But uh, yesterday I was up there waiting. I said maybe he thought I was gonna be waiting again today. So I think that's what it was. But we all good. We gonna roll out. We going to the chimpanzee sanctuary today. You know, let me go uh, hang out with some of my possible kin folks. You know what I'm saying? You dig? Say what's up? You know what I'm saying? Throw up a few game signs to him, you did. But uh all joking aside, oh that girl there. Whew. Lord have mercies. But uh yeah, we're gonna go over there and check them out and then we may roll through the office just to roll through there. And then I need to make this call. I need to make this call to my mans about that compliance stuff and uh, from there get back early enough to, to try to go hang out at the beach you know pool ain't gonna do to go hang out at the beach but uh, that's what we on today so and of course let me address some of the comments gotta address the comments Overall, 90% of the folks are positive. Well, that's what you want to do. Like attracts like. You know, it's about the law of attraction. You know what I mean? I'm sort of a positive guy. At least I try to be. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But you're going to always attract detractors. You know what I'm saying? Naysayers. Just because. Nobody's paying them. At least... I don't think nobody's paying them. Somebody could be paying them, because I mean, we have all kind of Cointel pros going on. So we really don't know what's going on out here, especially with the, the internet. Anybody can just get on there, so I get it. But overall, we have to keep the mission. The mission is global. Oh my heavens. Woo. God bless Mother Africa, baby. My sister sure would like to meet ya. My sister sure would like to meet ya. <laughs> so when y'all hear me sing that, it's the reason why I sing it. You know what I mean? But anyway, back to what I was saying before I was distracted. <laughs> um yeah, you're gonna invite your detractors as well. And some of these detractors are non-paid and some of them are paid. Because my thing is, when somebody else is doing something, as long as it's not affecting you, what's the issue? I don't get it, you know what I mean? Now some things that people have said on the internet have affected me, you know, or triggered me, I should say, in a certain kind of way. But then I realized that maybe they're not as far along in their development of consciousness as I am. And, and in certain aspects, I'm not as far along as, as other folks are. So it's all relative, okay? It goes to what they say, the law of correspondence. And what is that? The law of correspondence state that if you think you're doing bad, it's always somebody doing worse. So if you think you're doing good, it's always somebody doing better. Okay, and if you think that person is doing good, it's always somebody doing great. So, 
it all has a relationship to each other, basically. So, yeah, you can come over here and say this and say that and point out things that don't really matter, <laughs> which is funny to me, you know what I mean? Like, who make this, who make that, who made this, who made that? Yeah, I get it. Some people are into, you know, making sure that everything that's touched by a melanin in hands, I get it. And I would love to see a world where everything that we touch, everything that we consume, everything that, uh, every service that we uh, utilize, you know, it comes through the hand of a melanated person. I would love to see a world like that. But unfortunately, a lot of times, the sheer convenience of it doesn't allow that. So I don't understand why people would go through and take the time to point these things out when they're so trivial. We got way more things to worry about, way more things to consider. Come on, man. I know you're not just gonna walk out in the middle of the street without even looking. Come on, come on, people. We gotta do better, you know? I want everybody to arrive alive. At the end of the day, we want everybody to go home safe. So pay attention, people. But uh, yeah, I get it. You know, the tractors are gonna come. And I hear a lot of the, you know, brothers from the Amerigos, not Amerigos, but uh, America, basically saying, you know, we're indigenous to America. Look, you get no pushback from me, man. I'm all for you, brothers. I'm all for it. You know what I mean? If, if, if we are saying that and, and producing evidence showing that we were originated in the Americas and not in Africa, hey, you get no pushback from me. Do your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? For the Hebrews, you get no argument from me. You know, do your thing. From the Muslims, do your thing. From the Christians, do your thing. You know what I mean? From the Folks who practice in non-religious uh, uh, spirituality, do your thing. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Do your thing, man. I'm, I'm welcoming. What I'm looking at is the color of your skin. All right? That's one. And if you got the mindset, because you can have the same skin as me, but that don't mean you got the same mind as me. You surely could be a Negro pen. And we have plenty of Negro pens, okay? But... I ain't got no problem with them either. If you, cho if you choose to be a Negro PN, then hey, so be it. As long as you ain't harming nobody else, why, why do I care? You know what I'm saying? I'm more on the Back to Africa movement. That's what I'm on. And I'm on the movement to saying that America was the Garden of Eden. And we started there. I'm on that movement. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the migration movement because it's evidence of all of these things simultaneously in my in my eyes, but in, in, well, in my eyes, I should say. But this machine just broke down in the middle of the street. Yeah. Oh, I caught a flat. I see. Yeah. It's left. I get it. Machine broke down in the middle of the street, just blocking traffic. So that's a, that's a uh, somebody should get a ticket for that or something. Because so you think so much. yeah, exactly. It's like a. Uh, machine that you use to mix the concrete. Yeah, mix the concrete. It was one of the old fashioned ones, you know? And the wheel broke on it. I mean, it got, the tire got a flat or whatever, so they just took the tire off and just sat it there and disconnected from the truck or whatever that was pulling it and just left it there. You know? That's definitely a hazard. You know, but what do I know? Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know? But yeah, I just want to address some of these things because some of it is kind of comical to me. You know what I mean? I don't see what the issue is. If, brother, if brothers and sisters want to come back, hey, support them. If brothers and sisters want to stay there and and go after stolen lands that was, that was taken from us in the Americas, then hey, I support you. You don't get no pushback from me. For the folks that's on the reparation movement, you get no pushback from me. My folks are deserve, uh, deserving of a check too. You know what I'm saying? So you get no pushback from me on none of these issues. To me, it's just a non-issue on these things. So 
I'm on, let's figure out a way to get along. You know, not nitpick, because I don't like that. I don't like people when they nitpicking. Simple stuff that don't really matter. You know what I mean? Because really, to be honest with you, we indigenous to the earth. In the America, that's called earth. Over here, it's called earth. So, <laughs> technically, we all right. Now, I guess we could do carbon dating and all that to figure out what came first, okay? That's cool. And even once we do the carbon dating and we find out that the, that the America, the Americas were first with civilization did, hey, kudos. No problem, no pushback from me. None whatsoever. Did we discover through carbon dating that uh, in Africa was the start of civilization? Hey, you get no pushback from me. I'm choosing to come here and I'm choosing to be there. So I'm, I'm on both sides of the fence. My legs, what I want to do is have one foot on each continent. Now, what you say about that? You know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous to America and I'm indigenous to Africa. Now what? Now what? <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Shut these arguments down. All right, let me show you all the people. We buy the people now. citizens so I'm not gonna be filming them just don't make sense in America we can we can film the police so there I will film them when you're in Rome you do what Romans do when you're in America you, you do what the Americans do when you're in Africa you do what the Africans do it just it just makes sense I don't get it I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I'm able to discern and how to be mindful <laughs> of what we're dealing with. Welcome to traffic. Now it's time for me to start complaining. Let me get on my complaining people. Oh, this traffic is killing me. Oh, this traffic is killing me. Why, why, why so many people? Why? Watch this guy. Look at that Mustang, y'all. 
Got him some rims on there. Man, styling and profiling. You dig? Yeah, man, but you know, that's how I look at things, guys. I'm not hard to, you know, I'm not so rigid. I'm more of a fluid type of person. You know what I mean? I feel we can make a claim for the whole planet, not just America, not just Africa. We really can make a claim for the whole planet. That once this was our planet, now we didn't allow people to separate us over these names, and these names are all new. So I'm choosing not to do all that, you know? I can spend my efforts doing other things. Traveling, visiting other cultures, meeting people, making connections, starting businesses. Learning to grow organic foods. You see? That's what I'm on. Eventually I want to get off into the uh, agribit business, restaurants, maybe coffee plantation, you know, cashews, the whole nine. I want to, I want a wealth. I want to just create so much abundance that I don't know what the hell to do with it other than help the people out. I think that will definitely gain me favor with a lot. I'm willing to take that effort on. I'm willing to roll up my sleeves and get dirty. Get dirt up under my nails. Get scratches all over me. I'm willing to do that. And I want to do it over here. I just feel in my heart, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm not saying I'm going to permanently leave America. I'm looking at doing maybe 50-50. 50% of the time there and 50% of the time here until I get to, to the point where I'm, I want to retire. And then I'm going to just basically be buried over here. Yep, that's what I want. Yep, that's what I want. Got Donna High Commission over there, huh? So you get no pushback from me, guys. I think we should just get over trivial stuff. Dashikis were made in China. So what? Who cares? That the people may not have known. Okay, we were stripped of everything. So a person got a daishiki on, at least they're trying to connect with their culture. And so you want to nitpick at that. That's no, that's not cool. Give people a chance to, ed to educate themselves. Give people a chance to catch up. Okay? Oh, my heavens. God bless Mother Africa. Sister. So would like to meet ya. I say, sister, sure would like to meet ya. But anyway, before I was distracted, um, yeah, give the people a chance to grow, man. Everybody ain't at the same stage of development and consciousness as every other person. Some people are just coming into the movement. Some of us been in the movement 30 years. Some of us just came to the movement you know, last week, yesterday, right? And you can't knock people. I've learned not to do that. It's hard. I get it. I've been on a lot of tours with people who they first time to Africa and hear some of the crazy statements that they was making. You see? And I had to try to push back a little bit, but I wasn't really, really pushing back. You know what I mean? I really didn't push back, push back. You know what I mean? Because I realized, I feel wrong here, girl. Because I realized they wasn't at the same place of development as I was. You know what I mean? So why am I gonna try to say something to that person negatively to, to stunt their growth? I remember when I first started in the movement, I was ignorant. Didn't know nothing. 
okay? So I've come a long way, and I remember my journey. I have forgotten. Yeah, I may have been down with the consciousness movement at least 30 years now. I was doing this before people even had a name for the, the, the conscious movement. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was 19. I, cha I changed my name and took the Shahada when I was 19. I stopped drinking when I was 19. I stopped smoking weed when I was 19. Before that, I was like, nah, dead set against marriage. I've been married twice. Now I'm looking to try to find me a, another wife and get married again. So I've definitely changed a whole lot. Before I was all about the flim flam, easiest way to get over. Now I'm about doing things right and exact, legal, above board. You know, to the best of my ability. So, you know, try not to stunt people's growth with your uh, self, your, your, your uh, what do I want to say? With your need to be right. With, that, with your need to say, I told you so. You know, allow people chances to make mistakes. Allow them chances to, a chance to uh, have successes. Time to grow, to learn to develop, to mature. And try to encourage it, try to, try to foster that. I have to do it in myself. I have to check myself doing it because I realize like I'm so far advanced to, for a lot of folks that it, 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 it's unsettling to them. So I just kind of, you know, keep my mouth closed. Leave it alone. Sometimes people say some stuff that's sideways I be wanting to get at them, but I'll be like, nah, it ain't worth it. Because I realize they're saying that from a place of not knowing. And since I know better, I must do better. Not only for myself, but for them. So learn to promote people. Learn, learn to uh, gently uh, guide them in the right direction. You know? Choose your words carefully. And don't nitpick at the people because they don't really know the proper code of protocols to doing certain things. Like me, when I come over here, I go get the fabrics from the local folks. Now, whether those fabrics are indigenous to the land or whether they bought the fabrics from China, that person is making a living off of selling that fabric. So either way, I don't really care. If I like it, if I see it and I like it, then it is what it is. Now, I got some original stuff. I'm sure. But it is what it is, man. It's still creating money for the local economy, even if they buy the fabrics. I know people going, oh, that ain't right. Why you can't sell this? And this? Hey, do the best you can. I think we're starting to get too comfortable with just... Uh, talking down to people because they don't want to take to take the effort to make sure that everything that they ever touch is, is by melanated hands. You know? Is your cell phone made by a melanated person? Is the company you pay your bill to? You know? We pick and choose this stuff, I know. That car you're driving, was that is it every every component of that car that you're driving? Was that touched by a melanated person? Yeah, when they print that money that's in your pocket. Every part of the printing process, was that done by a melanated person? See, we pick and choose the bullshit that we want to participate in and the stuff we want to harp on and we want to focus on. We put we put the we put the microscope on that thing, but everything else is okay. <laughs> Is up shoes you wear? Was those was that touched by every aspect of that shoe? Was it touched by a melanated person? No. See, people are just on their bullshit. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I get it though. That's why I'm here to decipher for you. <laughs> you know? Go go somewhere and do the work, man. Get people to your cause by explaining what your cause is and gaining favor by educating people. 
Don't come to other folks' platform and knocking them for what they doing. Because I can tell you right now, I've been in the movement 30 years. I changed my name in 30 years ago. Or somewhere about. I think it was like 89 when I changed my name. I took the Shahada in 89. So, it is what it is. I don't think I'm going to be changing anytime soon. <laughs> Matter of fact, I know I ain't. So coming over here with your shenanigans it just simply ain't going to work. I'm going to laugh it off and make a joke out of it because some, some stuff just don't make sense to me. It just don't. We're in the modern era now. So people are not going to be right and exact on everything that they do. But as long as they're trying, you know what I'm saying? Give them an A for effort. Learn to promote. Learn to put forth your evidence and let put your evidence out there for everybody to see, right? Invite questions. Answer those questions, right? Answer those questions. and win people over with your scholarship. Win people over like that. Yeah, but that's harder to do. That's harder to do, go ham. That's harder to do, ham. I have to open myself up for scrutiny. <laughs> I gotta open up my scholarship. They go with the landslide, uh, the mudslide happened, guys. Where people lost their lives. God bless the dead for all the folks who lost their lives in this mudslide. Surely they're in a better place. So these are the things that was on my heart today because I'm reading some of the comments and it's better to just bring it out on my blog you know what I mean? Just bring it out on the blog and address these things so people can kind of get an idea of how some of this stuff go over it to, you know, in other people's minds. Everywhere on earth can be improved. I don't know no perfect societies on this planet. None of them are perfect. Most of all the governments uh, are not right and exact. So, pick your poison, in other words. Come on, dog, get your little mangy, mangy stuff out the way. You walking like, dude, go around. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Shout out to that dog. <laughs> Got a breakdown. Oh, no, they doing construction. Are oh, they painting, okay. See, we need to, people from the diaspora need to come through here with all our talents, all our education, all our money, our expertise, and buy machinery so we can update Mother Africa. Can't tell me these little boys don't look like my little boys. Somehow we all different. <laughs> We want to argue about land mass. No, oh, I didn't come from Africa. I came from America. We were, we were born there. We were, we were civilization and da, 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 da. I'm like, okay, cool. What's the problem? What the problem is? <laughs> What's the problem? You know what I mean? You know? Put your scholarship out there and let people decide. If people want to stay there in America and, you know what I'm saying, fight against that government to uh, get what's owed them or what's, what should be returned to them, then, hey, I'm on board with that. I'll fight for that. 
But at the same time, don't knock somebody else because they want to come back to the motherland. First, it was, you know, the Africans don't like you. Uh, I don't see that. I, I don't have no problem when I come in. None. Oh, the, the brothers would do this to you. They'd do that to well, The same thing could happen in America. I could get, you know what I'm saying, gunned down in America. I could get robbed in America. I've been robbed in America. You know? I've been threatened. I've been beat up. I've been everything. So, what's the point? I don't get it. I'm still from there. <laughs> yeah, but you don't supposed to be making sense, Ham. Ham, you don't supposed to be making sense. Oh, the government over there is this, that, and the other. Wait, well, hey, the government over there is this, that, and the other. Governments do what governments do all over the world. Okay? What you gotta realize, we the people get a, the government authority. We vote these people in the office. But somehow they over us. <laughs> we give them their authority, but somehow they, we give them the authority to be over us. And then when they, when they uh, transgress with this authority, we act helpless and, and, and uh, innocent. No, we got a right to push back. So you'll never hear me uh, criticizing brothers and sisters that decide to push back on any government anywhere in the world if they feel truly that that government is not representing them properly. They have a right to push back. And I'm never going to criticize that. People are just silly. That's all it come down to. People are just silly with their thinking. You want to be one track minded. Yep. But it's all good. We got a lot of construction going on here. We are already in the midst of a renaissance in this country up there. Two more under construction. Well, another place they got under construction. Look at them. One up there. Two, three, four under construction. So we in the midst of a renaissance. Oh, the other, let me dress the other thing I remember seeing. Oh, it's only a couple millionaires there. The Lebanese are the ones with the money. Uh, I don't give a damn about the Lebanese, Chinese, and nobody else. I'm only concerned with melanated people. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. Ain't got no problem with the Lebanese. If they came here and got it from the mud, then, hey, bless them. Here we come. I could either choose to go to their stores and shop with them or not. If it's convenient for me, then I'll do it. But I try to spend my, my, my money with the brothers and sisters. But sometimes out of sheer convenience, I may shop with the Lebanese, I may shop with the Chinese, I may shop, you know what I'm saying, with the Indians. But I try not to make it a a habit. Because sometimes time restraints, okay? These things are real issues. So if I can get it from this store and it's closer for me, then I'm gonna do it. But if I got a chance to stop, if it's two stores, and one of them is a melanated brother or sister, then it's just, we ain't even gotta say what I'm gonna do. Y'all already know. But we just have arrived at the sanctuary. It didn't take us long to get here. So 
these were the things that was on my heart today. Y'all think of my shirt, I thought it was fitting that I put this on today. You know what I mean? Tiger. You did. Beautiful shirt. Beautiful shirt. But, yeah, it is what it is, y'all. Y'all just need to lighten up. We indigenous to, to Mother Earth. It said once was a black planet. So the whole planet really belonged to us and still do if you ask me. We just got some um, hostile visitors. <laughs> you did. That's how I was saying, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. You know, we just got to get out here and compete. Simple as that, man. Get out here and compete against the Lebanese. Get out here and compete against the Chinese. We just got to get out here and compete, man. I'm all about competition. But it's gonna make me do better. It's gonna make me rise to a, to the occasion. And for all who don't wanna do that, then hey, it is what it is. Let the chips uh, land, make, land where they may. If you don't wanna get out here and compete against these folks, okay, cool. I ain't knocking they hustle. That's one thing about being a hustler. I don't do, I don't knock other people's hustle. Even if those people don't look like me and basically are hostile toward me. I don't knock they hustle. No, I'm finna get out here and compete against them. Show lives, but I could do it better. Show can, I could provide better service because they, that's one thing that they do lack. They can produce products or sell us goods, but when it comes to the service aspect, because of their, uh, their uh, dislike for us, they refuse to give us that quality service. That's where we come in at. I'm gonna give you the same products for a little bit of lower, a lower price, but I'm gonna give you superior service. Yes, we're gonna bend over backwards because that's what businesses should do. You did, because you're gonna be, in return, I'm asking for abundance. asking for abundance not only for myself for my my generations that's not here yet and for my people because to me that's the way that you uh, gain the hereafter is by helping Allah's people his children for whatever reason I was woke up from the dead I was part of the living dead as well. And at some point, Allah sent an angel to me. And the brother's name was. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. That's my uh, version of a drum roll. Brother Omar. God bless Brother Omar wherever he is because he is the one who initially started to wake me up. Yep. I met Brother Omar when I was in jail. And he was the only one out of a hundred folks up on a tier. Everybody else was playing cards, checkers, chess, arguing, gambling, watching soap operas or whatever. He was the only one out of a hundred people that was up there reading a book. And so, for whatever reason, I guess a lot put in my mind, go up there and ask that brother what he's reading. And at that time, I really couldn't read. I think I was like 18. And I went up there and asked him what he was reading, and he told me he was reading the Holy Quran. And I was like, the Holy what? What? The Holy what? I'm like, some type of voodoo. But see, you say stuff like that because out of sheer ignorance, right? So, of course, initially, I ran away from him. But the fact that I went up there and even asked him, that made him kind of like start focusing on me. So every time I would walk past him, he was like, hey brother, I'm gonna be up reading the Quran today. Um, maybe you should come up and let me read. And uh, let me read to you. And I was like, ah, yeah, maybe one day, uh, you know, one day, whatever. You know, I was straight coming from the Negro P in mindset. So eventually he kept asking, he kept asking. And so I was like, let me go up here and let this brother read to me. So he could shut him up. That's what I was thinking. Man, I went up there. He started reading to me, man. It was like 
it sounded like like he was singing. Those words were so angelic. And my spirit just slowly started to transform. Before you know it, I couldn't wait till the doors open in the morning because we wasn't selling or anything to go up there so he can read to me. So after about, about what, a month, month and a half, two months of him reading to me, he was like, hey brother, okay, it's your turn to read to me. And that's where the problem came in at. Like, what the problem is? And he said, all right, brother, it's your turn. And I was like, what? My turn? And of course, <laughs> I couldn't read. I was, man, I was so embarrassed. But that embarrassment is what got me to today. Yep. That embarrassment is what got me to today. That's where we at, people. Sanctuary. So we're gonna go in here and say hello to some of our kin folks. We got some Neanderthals. This is this is it. This is Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the driver said we at the place. You coming in? Yeah, you come in. No, 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 you come in. Okay, okay. Get the driver to come in so he can film me as I'm, because I need you to film. I'm going to get you to film while I'm uh, interacting. And of course, there's no tourism, so I'm probably going to have my whole run of the place. Get the chance to see the whole shirt. What's going on? Grand rising to you. Just want to get a chance to get y'all to see the whole ensemble. You know what I'm saying? Let me tighten up my my uh, my uh, little stand here. My man got to check the temperature. Go ahead. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Um, are you here with your face mask? Do you have a face yes, mask? Yes, I have one. Yeah. Okay. Need a, you need a face mask outside? No, when you go in. In the building? Yeah. yeah. You have a mask? No. You got a, one for my guy? Ah, uh, yeah, but uh, they are for sale. Do, do you also need? No, I have one. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to take one for my guy. All right, go, go bring him one. And then we'll be ready. Hold on, guys. Let me, uh... Y'all can see the whole ensemble. You know what I'm saying? Got my, my college hat on. You see it? SIU, baby. You know what I'm saying? Melanated man over here. We ain't going for all that. That yin yang. They talking on those, these other channels. Let's put our U dig on.
going. We go on. Check out the. Come on, we can walk up to the. Come on, uh, driver. This is me and my man's. You dig? Get rid of this stick up under my hat. Starting to irk me. Yeah, SIU, what you gonna do? How much, bro? 5,000. 5,000. Yes, Here, hold this, driver. Hold it to me. There we go. 5,000. Is, is it packed today? I know. Huh? No people today? Not yet. yet. Just the. Uh, Not yet? All the person for now. How much is it to get in this park? Huh? Does it cost to get in or no? Yeah, yeah. How much is it? Like if you're a Sierra Leonean, it's yeah, 50,000 yen. Right. And non Sierra Leonean is 150,000. 150. So we both Sierra Leonean. Okay, you got So how much you need? So that's uh, 50, so it's 100,000. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your ID card or passport? Of course. You, with you? Yes. Okay. You show sure. the, the, the. You ain't gonna ask him, do he have his? Huh? You ain't gonna ask him, does he have, does he have his? No, like for him, I know that he's a Sierra Leonean. I am you. too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you see the, you saw the, did you see the news? Yeah. A few months ago, the 22 people who received citizenship? Yeah. I was one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, big fan. I saw you on the news. On yeah, Wiley. exactly. Now you see me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you say you saw me on the news, guys. Yeah. No, like, you yeah, are with a mask? Oh, yeah, I had a mask on. Yeah. yeah, I had a mask on. Okay, you can use the hand sanitizer or wash your hands. Okay, cool. So let me hold it for you. All right. You hold the camera. Let's turn it around. Thousand together. Hundred. And what do you pay it? Um, in the receptionist. Okay. Yeah, this is the shop. Yeah, you got the payment. Is it 20? No. 23? Yes. Okay. Stop it. Okay, Chef. Mm, email. Good driver. Okay, Chef. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. 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 Ye
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's have a look. What's your name? I'm a father. Okay. I'm a father. You good? Yeah, yeah. You got a guy? Is somebody going to take us through? Five minutes more. He's going to be your tour guide. Okay, cool. We're going to get the driver to hold the camera. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. Oh, you said you got something like this? Is it the same? No, we have like a bottle, not the animal, but we have the like some chips and here. Uh, we have the meat and chicken, we have like chips and To the country, new <laughs> citizen. He is the one born in the country. He's in the big market. Because I know something to India, but I've had a brother, but I've never been here. I don't want to say. I know yeah, where you think. I got this, got this uh, yeah, day before yesterday from the big market. Oh, yeah. That's, That's a lion? Huh? A lion? Yeah, uh, tiger. Yeah. So I thought it'd be fitting we were here today. Okay, right? <laughs> That's why it's so nice to you to you coming to a running place. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Exactly what I was thinking. What are the ones with the chips? Like that. Oh, no, it's hurt. We also have the. Oh, got a big size? No, we just have the, the light one. This is a light one. This is But we have this other one as well that have the chink on there. Uh, the name of this one is in the chink on there. Six years, baby. So Y'all hear that? We come on our next tour. We come on our next tour to Sierra Leone. We definitely got to hit this place up. I've been hearing about it. Get a shot of those masks, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the cameraman and the driver. <laughs> <laughs> and these. These are some beautiful ones here. Yeah. 
We also have some lampshade down there. If you go down there, you see the, the lampshades. I saw them when I came here. I said, they got to be for sale. Yeah, for sale. Museum down there by the Titan Tree. This one is like a, a culture or something? This is how I think we Yeah, you see it here, and I think you see it in, um, I think you see these masks also sort of similar to that in uh, the Gambia. Wow. Maybe we, we, like, we have the same tradition or like similar to Yeah, yeah, because the migration patterns. Ah. Yeah, so everybody kind of migrating around the same time, everybody kind of intersected and some of these things have passed through different charts. Like, so when I got there, I'm like, man, these masks, I've seen these masks in Sierra Leone. Okay. Um, you ready? Yes, I know. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. We'll be back. Welcome to Takogama Chimpanzee Sanctuary. My name is Noah and uh, I will be your tour guide. Okay. Um, before we start, we have an audio here that I want you to listen to. Okay. Welcome to Takogama Chimpanzee Sanctuary. We are very happy to have you here. Takugama is home to 97 orphan western chimpanzees rescued from human homes as a result of hunting, the illegal bushmeat trade, deforestation, and the pet trade. Did you know that the western chimpanzee is critically endangered with high risk of becoming extinct? There are not many left in the wild. Also, in the surroundings of this beautiful tropical forest, you can find many animals that are at risk of disappearing completely. This includes chimpanzees, dikas, pangolins, birds, insects, and different species of monkeys and reptiles. It is our responsibility to care for them, and we want to kindly ask you to comply with the following rules and be part of the mission to keep this area safe for the wildlife and humans that live here. For your safety and that of others, please make sure you wash your hands before entering and leaving the facilities. Wear your mask properly, cover nose and mouth during the tour, hikes, and common areas. If you're feeling sick, please do not enter into the sanctuary or forest. You don't want to risk the health of the humans and animals. Social distancing is key. Let's try. However, if you're feeling suffocated from wearing your face mask, inform your tour guide. He will help you to move to a safe area where you can remove it, take some fresh air, recover, and put it on again. Our team members are responsible for the health of the chimpanzees, other visitors, and other staff members. Please, listen to the instructions. You will be asked to leave the sanctuary if you fail to comply or follow these guidelines. Kindly make use of the restroom before you go on the tour. Also, do not eat and drink during the tour. And finally, no spitting is allowed. We value your presence and want to make your stay comfortable. Yes, together we can. Many thanks for your understanding and enjoy your visit. Again, we're extremely happy and grateful to have you here. Okay, and do you want to make use of the restroom? Oh, uh, what's that? Do I need 
Yeah. Now, wait till you go, Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure we stay around where we stay around. You ready? Yeah. Okay. was officially open to the public in November 1995 and our aim is to rehabilitate orphan and abandoned gyms with the aim of releasing them back in the world and it's very important also to have in mind that this place is not a zoo but a sanctuary, a protected area that guarantees all the necessary conditions to protect animals and uh, we also have our various programs, we have the Takugama Community Outreach Program we are working with five districts in Sierra Leone. Our aim is to protect the remaining 5,500 chimpanzees that have left in the world. We got that number during the last census that was done, the chimpanzee census in 2010. And uh, during the 60s and 70s, Sierra Leone used to have over 20,000 chimpanzees in the world. But that number drastically reduced. So like if much is not done, they are going to extinction. Mm -hmm. Just like the other country in Africa, they have already lost them. And chimpanzees are heritage to Sierra Leone. And the good news is that in 2019, through the help of Dr. Jane Goodall, the government of Sierra Leone has declared them to be a national animal. And it has made it illegal for people to hunt them or keep them as a pet. It's punishable by law. And also on the tour, there are rules that we must observe so that we can have a quiet and enjoyable tour. We should not make loud noise or clap our hands or try to interact with the chimps because most of the chimps here they are traumatized and your purpose also is to see them and observe their behaviors you are also free to take snapshots and videos we do appreciate people that share our work with the world and uh, when you're taking your snapshot make sure that your flashlight is off because it reminds them of bad happening when people go to the forest at night and hunt them with their guns you can ask questions as we move along. If you cannot reach me, you can reach Alfred. He's also knowledgeable about this place. So once more again, you are welcome. Thank you. Sanctuary is not directly supported by the government. Um, we only depend on these foreign partners to run our outreach program. Yeah. 
and we also have our local sponsors, the like of um, Radio Team Blue and the others. These are our local sponsors that do support us yeah. on our outreach program. Sanctuary is divided into various stages. This is stage one. Um, because like when the chimps arrive, we don't want to mix them with the other chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we put them into quarantine for a minimum of 90 days. Because chimpanzee are 98.6% genetically similar to us, most of the disease that affect human can be transferred to them. So this is the reason when they arrive, we don't mix them with the rest of the chimps. And uh, we put them into quarantine for 90 days. Some go beyond 90 days because some of them, when they arrive, they have bullet marks, they have machete marks. And after completing the health screening process, we pass them to another phase, which is the reintegration phase. Because like, we want them to be in a group because otherwise they live in a social and complex group. So doing that is a bit technical and critical because um, it's more easier for us to integrate baby chimps than females. But very difficult to integrate adult males. Reason being, they fight a lot for territory mm -hmm. and dominancy. And at the moment, we have um, 26 baby, 28 babies here. Some are undergoing health screening. And this is our surgical building where we do our minor operation. We also have a resident vet. So, like, we cannot see the baby because they are, some of them are undergoing health screening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Jackfruit. Get a shot of that fruit, driver. You see? Tell them about the jackfruit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see it? Yeah, get it with the camera. Yeah. See the jackfruit? Mm -hmm. okay. make, make no, no, no. Let's go over. Okay, okay. Love me some jackfruit. This is a first year for us. Okay. We <coughs> 2019. Do you know Dr. Jim Goodall? No. Ah. Sure. He's the world famous pharmacologist. Oh. Um, and we are studying her plan for over 40 years. Okay. Yeah. She is the one who inspired the founder of the Balancing Society Sanctuary. Being a scientist in 1992. Yes. Yeah. What is that? Okay. Yeah. So <coughs> here is um, group two. Yeah, we call this group the math group. The big guy sitting on that tire. Uh -huh. 
His name is Mark. Mark. Yeah, we have one hundred tutors here. Wow. And all of them have names. Like when the care staff call them, they respond to their names. So uh, this place here is like a school, a training ground for them. And after completing the reintegration phase at stage one, we pass them here. They are thirteen in number, and their age is between eight to eleven years. Exception of the big guy working now, Mark is thirteen years old. Oh, wow. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, very big. And uh, here we feed them six to seven times a day. Oh, so many. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, there are no food trees here. They only depend on us, and we give them leaves, vegetable, and food. We also have what we call the burger ball. It's a mixture of burger, Benin, beans, and granite. We cook it for them and we give them in the money. We don't give them meat here. And the reason being, if you want to protect chimpanzee, you need to protect the habitat. By you protecting the habitat, it means you are also protecting the wild animal. So, to supplement the protein, we give them egg. And here, the fence is being powered by electricity. The fence is being electrified. Oh, yeah, when they are in stage one, also we introduce them to the electric fence. So all of them knew that they should not shut the fence. If they shut it, it will cut them. Yeah. And uh, the pole is for them to improve on their climbing skill. The rope is for them to gain their balance. Because most of them we are from human homes. Some of their wives in human homes, they have been put into five cage or tied onto a rope. So like the basic skill they're supposed to learn if they are in the wild, they were unable. Mm -hmm. So some of them, it, here at Tapigama, they learn the, those um, skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is also an artificial termite mud. <laughs> we sometimes put honey there. Mm -hmm. They will use their finger or use stick to pull out the honey. We want them to practice the foraging skills and also want them to keep them busy because um, chimpanzees are very energetic. You don't need to come and put them without having something to do. Mm -hmm. Especially at this stage, they are adolescent, and this group is one of the most troublesome and most playful group. Like yeah. an age. The age, mm -hmm. yeah, and they like throwing stones at visitors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why you yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. And those two smaller cages also is for them also to practice the foraging skills. Yeah. We open the padlock and we close it and we put some stuff there. They keep on um, using their finger or use the stick to pull out the stuff. Mm. Because all the skills they learned from the stage, when they move, they can start implementing what they have learned. So we have seven female and six male. Like the one lying down with a pinkish butt, mm -hmm. those with the pinkish butt are the female. The male you can send through their male organs. Yeah. Mm. And uh, the oldest chimpanzee we have here is Tom. Tom is uh, 42 years old. Yeah. In human years? Huh? Is that considered like a, in human years, 42? Yeah, yeah, yes. Because for them, they can live for 45 to 50 years if they are in the world. Ooh. And uh, in a sanctuary like this, mm -hmm. they can live for 60 and above. Because here we look over their medication. Wow. Yeah. But like um, Tom arrived at the sanctuary when he's an adult male and he failed to integrate with the other group members. So he's living with another ch older chimpanzee called Nico. But like chimpanzee as they grow older, mm -hmm. they become more aggressive. So like we don't take our visitors to those um, older guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because most of them have weakness where the attack can make them kill. Mm. Because chimpanzees are always protective, like the mother or the group member, they will never want to leave the baby behind. So like if you want a baby, you need to kill the entire family. Yeah. Mm. And they also keep memory. They will never forget what has happened to them. Mm. Yeah. So in each and every um, enclosure also, you have the dominant male, the alpha male. And for chimpanzee, for you to be a leader, you need to be strong, intelligent and you need to have support from the top ranked male and female and you should be able to protect the group 
if you are a great leader you cannot protect the group they can easily gang up against you and they will, they will overthrow you and here the dominant male is um, Mark mm -hmm. he looks so bad I don't know because when he says chin sitting like this arms fold it's like he's bored yeah. it's like he's mad he's bored bored okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's bored to sign up. Yeah. Wow. And how old is Mark again? Mark is 13 years old 13. in this group. What about their breeding process? Um, you have control there? Yeah, we have control because this place is a sanctuary. We look over our captive and orphan chain. So we do allow them to give back and uh, it is against also the Pan Africa Sanctuary Alliance that looks over all the sanctuary in, our, in Africa like it is prohibited for them to give back. So what they do? How do they do this process of controlling the birth? And um, the female we give them contraception. Yeah. So sometimes even human contraception is not 100%. Mm -hmm. It sometimes fails. Mm -hmm. And here, in the case that happened, we, we allow them to give back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have some other stages that contraception are failed. Yeah. Maybe when we go there, you're going to say the baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because as at this stage now, the stage we are going to move them, we have a big forest where they can roam about. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Stages, sometimes it's very difficult for us to see them because they prefer being in the forest. <laughs> they like they're just resting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the, he got his legs up. Mm -hmm. Let me see. He got his legs up. Try to get y'all a better shot. They look so tired. <laughs> they look. They, they like. They like. They. They. I'm. Relaxing. I'm just chilling. Yeah. I'm relaxing. They laid out. Got their legs kicked up. <laughs> you know, up under the shade. And also, we don't allow them to sleep outside. Downstairs is their house, it's where they sleep. Okay. If you can take a look at the extreme end, you can see three tunnels. Hmm? At the extreme end, you okay. can see three tunnels, one, two, three. So like if you want to pass them from stage uh, one to this group, there are slide doors, you I open see. the slide door and they pass through the tunnel. Uh, and for this guy, this is the, the, the way. Okay. You open the slide door, they pass through the tunnel and they go to their den. Mm. They are much more active during the day and at night they are less active so when all, all of them are in we turn the electric fence off yeah okay wow just chimp walking now mm -hmm. it's, really it's one of the most skillful chimp here he, yes, he, he used to be the leader, but like he's a bully leader, so they gang up against him. He's no longer the leader, but still, he remains in the group. And uh, he knows how to do the backflip. <laughs> yeah, much more skillful, but very troublesome. Mm. Yeah, he likes to throw stones and <laughs> visitors, and uh, wow. sometimes have an excellent aim. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> That's cool. It's like a gymnast school. We are the land the gym gymnastics almost. Yeah. <laughs>
management is now thinking to build another new um, enclosure for this group because they have learned all the skills they need to know. Okay. And for this, they need about four to six acres of space. I told you. Yeah. It's mortar. Very troublesome. And very nasty. You want to game bang? <laughs> so like, want stuff. During feeding time, the care staff will not go in. Mm -hmm. They will stand outside and they will go for them. Oh, they have opposable thumbs just like us humans. Mm -hmm. They help them to grab the food and uh, do some other activity. Mm -hmm. You look like you're up to no good. <laughs> So I think you want to do there is a tap. That's the tap. And there is a knob, they always push the knob and they drink the water. Ah, uh, see. You see? Yeah. They are very intelligent. Absolutely. <laughs> he was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are okay with this group, we move to the next group. Okay, we can go. So he throws some rocks over up here at us. And I throw something back. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. You hear them? Yes. Yeah. Hey, what up, man? So, um, this is group three. Okay. We call this group the maturity group. <laughs> After completing stage two, we pass them here. Ah. The enclosure here is four acres. Four and acres. Are, okay. Yes. And uh, there are 17 of them in this group. So like all the skills they learned at stage two, mm -hmm. when they come here, they can start practicing them. The climbing skill, the foraging skill, um, the balancing skill. And 60% uh, of the leaves are edible to them. So as we move them, we minimize the way we feed them. Like in group two, we feed them six to seven times a day. While this group, we feed them four to five times a day. And they also have food trees, yeah. And they are 17 in number in this group. Their age is between 1 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. And at 13 years old, they are matured enough. Like the female, they can start producing. Mm. Just like what I told you, we don't allow them to produce. Since here is a rehabilitation center, we need to have space for the arriving orphan and captive children that do come to the sanctuary. And this place is too small for them. Mm -hmm. If you allow them to produce, it will be very difficult because the space will be small for them and the food also because most of the food will buy it from the market. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, you have staff to look after, you have other projects to run, so we give them contraception. So here we have um, two contraception failure. There's a chain by the name of somebody, the baby hmm. is someone. Somebody, someone. Yeah, and uh, reggae, the baby is Rasta. So the ones that were born here due to contraception failure, mm -hmm. we are not going to take them out. They are going to stay here and they are going to live as a wild chain. Okay. And for them, it's not only the responsibility of the mother to look after the baby, it's the responsibility of the whole group. And here... Um, Takes the, a village. Yeah. The alpha male is Zach. Zach is the leader for this group. How old is Zach? Huh? How old is Zach? Um, about 20 years. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so like this group, they prefer being in. You can only see them after collecting food. Like this guy, they are eating now. Is that apples? No. Cucumber? Yeah. So, 2% of their diet is made up of meat. But here we don't give them it. Okay. Yeah. So in a while, <clears throat> you said their diet, some, some percentage of their diet is made up of meat. Two percent. Two percent. Yeah. What what meat are we talking about? What animals? Smaller animals like monkey, squirrel. Yes. So basically, smaller. Yeah. Smaller prey. Yeah. Most of the food they they prefer eating leaves 
vegetables and fruits. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See them up there in the tree. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have a clear shot? Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Like the skills they have practiced in the in group two, mm -hmm. they are now implementing it here. In the wild. Yeah. Simulated wild. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> hey, that's the gang banging we win, y'all. <laughs> Gladiator wing. Mm. I'm listening. In the room. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Look at this. Look, he threw this up and it hit me right in the stomach. Yeah. Uh, he he kind of hit the screen first, though. <laughs> he underhand, he underhand that sucker. <laughs> he did say that too. <laughs> <laughs> when they say the chimpanzee like this clapping, mm -hmm. it's not happy. Are we, are we mad at us? Yeah. Could we we invading his space? Yeah, because most of them, mm -hmm. they have yeah. seen we are the entire family is being killed uh, by us humans. So it's like like they're mad. Yeah. Yeah. Same like us humans. If you know that oh this one has been my uh, relative, you'll never be happy with the person. That's true. Yeah. It really take a really spiritual person to accept that. Yeah. Forgiveness. Because for them, they can breastfeed for three to four years. So they breastfeed for a very long time. So that means they get a really good bond. Yeah. So go there. <laughs> 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 oh shit, they all running around now. I didn't, they just threw rocks at me twice, y'all. Mm -hmm. Mark and the other guy. Watching you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm watching you. 
Okay, um, we move down okay. to the next group. I know that this group is one of the most. I know, right? Because they. You can spend the rest of the day. Yeah. Just yeah. mm -hmm. the, the gladiator room. Yeah. Uh, Y'all lucky I got to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are now going to have a forest walk okay. to go to the last stage. All right. So, this is their facial expressions. Through their facial expressions, you can tell whether a chip is happy or sad. Open mouth laugh with play time. You know that the chip is happy, the food makes happy. The angry face, you can see the upper and the lower teeth. The face of fear, you can see the two upper canine teeth. Okay. Yeah, chimpanzees are naturally aggressive. They fight one another. And like, the most unique thing about them, they reconcile very easily. Within five to ten minutes, you see them coming together and they make peace. Okay. They are not like us humans, they do not keep grudge. They don't hold a grudge. Yeah. And sometimes you can see them hugging one another, say, guys, don't forget about it, and they move on. Okay. The kiss makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah, they do kiss one another to show that they are peace and uh, they know how to do it. They have a very big mouth. Yeah. Kids can get away with almost everything. The kids are not a threat. Okay. And uh, they do accept them. And uh, it's not only the responsibility of the mother to look after the baby, it's the responsibility of the whole group. An adult angry chimp is as strong as five men, five strong men. Like, like me? You. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like those guys fighting wrestling, boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is the reason we always advise people you should not keep them as, as pets. Because, like, when they are babies, they are so cute. Right? Yes. Their body, their face is pink. But as they grow older, they become more aggressive. Yes. Yeah. So my advice to you and the rest of the people, you should not keep them as pets. As pets. Yeah. These are the three phase, habitational loss, poaching, exploitation, disease, and they die naturally. Yeah. Okay. These guys here, they are, we have two of them here, they are in isolation Okay. and because they are troubleshooters, they yeah. fight with the group yeah. members, they're supposed to be at group 3 and uh, for chimpanzees, they are incredibly strong, sometimes when they fight, they injure themselves, sometimes they kill themselves, wow. yeah, we don't want that to happen, whenever they fight and we know that the fight is intense, we isolate them. And they will be in isolation sometimes for a week, sometimes over a month. And uh, we have been doing it, and it has been working for us. Uh -huh. They learn from their mistake. But well, basically, you got them in seg segregation. Yeah, because they are social animal. They want to be with their colleague. Yeah. And uh, this place is like uh, a correctional center for them. Yeah. yeah, like segregation. Yeah. Another reason why also we are to live here, if they get sick, uh -huh. yeah, we don't want them to spread. To the whole, to yeah. Left of the group, we have to lay them. 
And these guys, they sometimes have deceiving faces whenever they see visitors. Okay. So that we pity for them. Yes, crap. Galaxy Note 10. He's the same length. Galaxy yeah. Animal Note 10. Note 10. 10. No, yeah. no, Note 10. Wow. Yeah. You, you, you have a very good camera. Clean. And you can take pictures while videoing. You got an Indian battery? Huh? The battery. Yeah, I got a power pack. No, like the battery is an Indian? Yeah, yeah, it is. Man, look how big that sucker is. Jackfruit, yeah, man, it's some good eating. They got ants all over it, too. See them ants? Man, that's a big one. So this is a security shelter. So they say if you have an exit, okay. you go here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So they, if one of them escape, you run up here and lock yourself in. Yeah, and then we come with it. Yes. And we have um, the chair staff. Uh -huh. They come with um, the tranquilizer. Oh, uh, tranquilizer gun? Yeah. Sometimes not all the cases the tranquilizer. Will work? Not all the cases. Yes. Because we have some of them that have good bond with the chair staff. Ah. Yeah. The chair staff will pull the chain. Uh-huh. By the hand and walk with the chain and uh, take the chain to his conclusion. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is their language, how to speak to Tazi. But for Jim Goodall, she has been able to interpret about 38 chimpanzee vocalization. Wow. Yeah. But we always advise our visitors not to speak the chimpanzee language here. Wow. Maybe you want to be nice and friendly to them, they might misinterpret it. Yes. And sometimes go for stone. Wow. And uh, they sometimes have an excellent aim, and we don't want anything to happen to our visitor. Maybe when you visit any other place in zoo, you can try this chimpanzee vocalization. Okay. Like the baby, you hear them say, e -e 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 -e. Ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. I will die if you don't let me have it. <laughs> yeah, they keep on doing it until the babies want to satisfy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when they see something strange, danger, Mm -hmm. yeah, they <laughs> Loudly. Okay. Yeah. Especially the alpha male. 
because the responsibility of the alpha men is to protect group members. Yes. So whenever I spot any danger, then you do that vocalization. Okay. Tito! Is that Tito? Yeah, it's the alpha male. Okay. But uh, we are lucky they are outside. So, this is the place where we bury Julie. Okay. So, like when they die, we bury them. Oh, okay. I want you to take a nice video. Yes. This is the barrier. Oh yeah. So do you see the baby? Yeah. Baby Sonia. And that, the other chip is drinking water from the tap. Do you see? Yes. So but baby Sonia was born due to contraception failure. Oh yeah. Yeah. And here when it happened. We allow them to take care of the baby. So this is the final group and uh, it's the biggest enclosure. It's okay. eight acres. Eight acres, wow. Yeah. And all of the eight acres is being fenced and powered by electricity. So their age is between is between three. Baby Sonia is three years old. And then we have 20, 25, up to 30 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like this group, they are <coughs> ready for possible release. If you have a suitable release site, this group will be the first group for us to be released. And where will you release them to? Um, for now, we haven't identified any place because timber logging is massive. Yes. And people are still killing them for bushmeat, holding them as pets. Wow. Yes. Like Sierra Leone, we have lost almost the primary forest we used to have. And uh, the most ideal place for them is the forest, the primary forest. We are not going to take them at Abadim Beach. Yeah. No, it's not their natural habitat. They no. won't survive there. Yes. So for now, here is the place, the best place for them. Wow. And since the government have declared them as national animal, though we have laws, but the laws are very flexible. We want government to put strict laws that will help and um, protect the chimpanzee. And if we have um, a suitable release inside, we are going to release them. Yeah. Okay. So here the dominant male is Tito, but Tito is not around. This is the reason you had me calling Tito. Uh, so whenever you call Tito, all of them will be outside. They know that anywhere Tito is, they are well protected. Okay. Because it's the responsibility of the alpha male. Uh, yeah. And as they grow older, they develop silver back. You see the one that just going? Yes. Yeah. So the fur in the back turns silver? Yeah. Huh? The, the, the hair on the back turned silver? Yeah. It's kind of like gray hair, huh? Yeah. So this also, we don't allow them to sleep outside. This is the tunnel. Yes. At 5, going to 5.30, the care staff will come, will open the slide door, and they will pass through the tunnel. Okay. Though they are not with watches, but they know the time. <laughs> the time for feeding mm -hmm. and when they should be in. Oh, wow. And if you can take a look on the trees, you can see dry leaves. Mm -hmm. This guys are now building nest uh, yeah these are clear indication that if we release them they can live independently for themselves yeah so now they are waiting for their food after collecting it they go in into okay. the forest into the forest yeah and uh, we always tell people that this is where they want to be this is the paradise for them mm. not in human houses no exactly yeah. not yeah. Because naturally they are aggressive. Mm -hmm. Being in human home is not an ideal. No, At any time, they, they, they will revolt. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe when you tell them no, yeah. you start they, telling them no more than they you get aggressive. The baby, you see yeah, the love, yeah. the bond? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and baby Sonia now, she's, she's good at climbing. She can climb so high uh, because both the mother and the rest of the group member, they help him to practice the skill. Uh -huh. So like just imagine if baby Sonia is in human house. No. 
to not have landed. Yeah, spirit. because they were having a cage. Yeah, so or tied him up. Tied him up. Yeah. yeah. So freedom is key, even to us human. Yes, it we is. We all need freedom, even the animal also. That's right. Yeah. That's why we got free town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He did. So you yeah, see, when I called Tito, they thought that I have something for them. Yeah. And they come out, mm -hmm. and after sitting, and say, oh, no, I does not have anything for me. Let's go in. So you see, all of yeah, them all is left. Yeah. So um, according to studies, the most ideal place for us to release them is mm -hmm. on an island. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few islands that's not populated here, right? Yeah, but like... Off the coast. Yeah, but like... The problem is that those islands, we, we have human settlements around there. And so you're saying they're all inhabited? All the islands are nearby are inhabited? Yes, yes. And in Sierra Leone, humans are the most threat. We are the ones disturbing the change. Yeah. If it's not for human settlement, the population could have grown. What about neighboring neighboring countries, so like uh, Gambia? They got islands that's unpopulated. Yeah, but like uh, the chimpanzee are heritage to Sierra Leone, and uh, we are not going to take them to Gambia, no. These are Sigalini and chimpanzee, and uh, since yeah. they have now declared as national animal, we must be proud of them. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. we go back. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Sure. Yes, sir. That's very good. I want to say, uh, let's hear uh, the use it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Because the only one we will get when I talk, now when the Vanish guy and I get us there, like when he finger for vex, way loose, he picking three fingers. Now he So after that incident, what happened now? Now he says, take the babu, put up a mustard, put up a shake, he bring her up here. And by the time we bring her in a big babu, babu now what's he done? Because he feed the SS. Yeah, no, what's he big? He don't pass, he don't reach that maturity age. Mm -hmm. And once we don't reach that maturity age, you know, man. You put her in a group, now they accept her again. Now yeah. pick it a woman, now they accept her group. But what she don't be big man now, for me they accept you. You know easy. Yeah, because yeah. they know what they accept you, sometimes they can't can be the leader. So, <laughs> very yeah. critical. Anyway, yeah. Right. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it here because we're at the end of the tour, so we're going to go back now. So I'm going to spare y'all the us walking back, so it's a nice little distance back. So. This is definitely a nice place. And uh, so when we come on our tours here, we will definitely be visiting this place. So y'all get ready to put your hiking boots on, baby. So I'll come back to you all when we're on the ride back. Until then, peace.